Good morning, friends. It is the 21st day of January of 2019, and the moon is on the outs of the blood wolf moon. Anyway, I'd like to share something with you. You know, the Word of God tells us that in the last days, perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, boasters, proud, heady, headstrong, lovers of pleasures, rather than lovers of God. Now that's enough right there to quote. And I want you to think of what God's Word just told us. That in the last days, perilous times will come. Do you realize that when it says that men will be lovers of themselves. Do you know that that means that people will love themselves more than they love other people? That means that they will love themselves more than they love God. They will love themselves and put themselves first above everybody else. And that is considered a perilous way to be. People will be headstrong. Headstrong. You can't tell me what to do. I know what's best. It's my way or the highway, baby. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. You don't like it? Get over it. <laughs> Boy, that sure is an example of how to love your fellow brethren. Sounds like to me you are in love with yourself. Caring all about your own self. Like the Bible says, in the last days perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves. Headstrong. Heady. Proud. Proud. Do you know that when a person is proudful or prideful, should I say? That little thing called pride gets in the way of you being a servant of Jesus Christ. Don't you laugh at me. I'm somebody. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you're talking to, man? I am somebody. I am somebody. Look at me. Look at what I got. Look at the degrees I got hanging on my wall. Look at my home. Look at my car. Look at my bank account. Look at my ring. You want to kiss my ring? Who do you think you are talking to me in such tone? That's pride there speaking. Unthankful. Unholy. Now let's think about this now. Unthankful. Do you know that 
people do things for us all the time and we take it for granted. We don't thank them. We don't appreciate them because we take it for granted. You know, this world owes me something. The government owes me something. Huh, okay. Unthankful. There's many ways you can show someone that, that you appreciate what they do for you. The quickest way is just simply a sincere thank you. What about this unholy? Nobody can be holy, only God's holy. Our righteousness is as filthy rags. We can't be holy. Hey, you want to go out and get drunk tonight? Yeah, man, let's go. You want to smoke a little marijuana? Yeah, man, it makes me feel good. But you're not... What? Aren't you a Christian? Oh, man, it's all right to smoke a little weed. Kind of makes me feel close to God. Seriously? Don't be surprised why you puffing on your marijuana and the trumpet sounds. You'll wish you, or you'll wish that drug got you high enough to get to, to heaven. You'll think you own a high when the world, or, or when the saints tell you goodbye and you're left here. See, the Bible also talks about in the last days, it talks about how people will be using drugs. What about loving pleasures rather than loving God? When you attend a gathering of God's people, do you attend it because you are going to be fed the true Word of God? Or do you attend it because they serve breakfast? Do you attend that church because that's where your boyfriend or your girlfriend goes? Do you attend that church because you like the worship music? Friend, the reason we should attend any gathering is so that we can get, get into the presence of our Heavenly Father. Because see, He said, if two of you are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst. When you go to a church or a gathering, do you go there with a keen expectation to have an encounter with our Heavenly Father? Or is it just going there to see your friends? We are living in perilous times. perilous times and we have our noses stuck so far into the screen of our phones that we don't see what's going on in this world Jesus said when you see these things beginning to take place lift up your heads. You know, Jesus could have said, when you see these things beginning to take place, put down your iPhone and lift your heads for your redemption draw off night. Those disciples said, Lord, would have said, Lord, what is an iPhone? 
We've heard of eye salve and tears from eyes, but what is an eye phone? What's a phone? <laughs> Don't worry about it, boys. Y'all understand in about 2,000 years. You know, as we get closer, this world gets crazier and crazier and crazier. Things that are happening is just like, have they lost their ever-living minds? I mean, for those of us who are living here in America... To see what's going on in Washington is, is the craziest thing. Whether you are a Republican or a Democrat, it should be common sense that you want to protect our country from invasions. That's all I'm going to say about it. I heard that Israel attacked Iran in Damascus. Now, I ain't had a chance yet because I just got off work to um, see what's going on over there. Excuse me. I'm very tired. You know, friend, let me just say this. What's the point of this video? I'll tell you what the point of the video is. Real simple. It's very simple. It is not business as usual. If you are born again of the Holy Spirit of God and you are bought with the blood of Jesus Christ and you, my friend, you, my friend, Believe that when the trumpet of God sounds, that you are going to be caught up into the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. If you believe that, my dear friend, then you need, if you're not already doing it, <laughs> you need to get busy. Getting your house in order. You need to get busy being who God wants you to be. Because I'm going to tell you, if you haven't already noticed, the wicked are getting more wicked. And they're getting bolder and bolder and bolder. The Christians who have the Holy God living in them. Better get bold and better get strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. That is the theme going forward for this ministry is to help others that want help that want to have Bible studies or discussions on the phone to get strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. I've had a couple of very good conversations with one dear lady who reached out to me and 
needed prayer. And we went through God's Word in Psalms chapter 91 and Proverbs chapter 3, starting at verse 21. Friend, God wants us to be strong, not weak. He said, Jesus said, I am the vine and you're the branch. Right there shows connection with Jesus. He says, without me, you can do nothing. What is the reciprocal of that? If without him you can do nothing, the reciprocal is with him you can do everything. But the scripture already tells us that. God is able to do, listen, God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, Above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us. Why is it that God can do something according to the power that works in us? Because we are the body of Christ. God accomplishes things using the body of Christ. He is the head. We're the body. Friend, how do you get things done? With your body. You take your hands and you go to work. You take your feet and you start walking. You use your body every day to accomplish things. God wants to accomplish things in this world through the body of Jesus Christ. And we are members of His body individually. But we all fit together. We are to grow up into Christ. Grow up in Christ. He's the head, we're the body. We are to become mature in Christ and grow up to the fullness, the height, the stature of Christ. And I'm telling you, going out and getting drunk is not striving to grow up in Christ. Going out and smoking dope is not growing up into Jesus Christ. Hanging out with your friends, going to movies that there's cuss words, going into bars, looking for a date in those places is not growing up into Christ. Getting in your prayer closet along with God Reading his word. For faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. That is how we grow in Christ. And that is how we grow strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. And we put on the whole armor of God. That we can withstand against the wiles of the devil. And the Bible tells us, having done all to stand, stand therefore. Friend, if God is for you, who can be against you? Our theme for 2019 is to grow up into Christ, to become who you are, because, friend, we are more than what we've become. We are children of the Most High God. And every day, we need to become more like Christ 
and less like the world. God bless you, my friend. I upload this video on this channel and on my other channel. And if you want the link to the other channel, which when I start, when I start the preaching services, it's the other channel that's going to be advertised for that ministry. So I would appreciate if y'all would be part of both of the um, both channels. Friends, we got great things to strive to accomplish for Jesus Christ because listen, it's like when you watch a race and when that one person goes through that ribbon and breaks it, the race is over. Friend, when the trumpet of God sounds, the race is over. We go home. There's not going to be any more witnessing when the trumpet of God sounds. There's not going to be any more telling people about Jesus when the trumpet of God sounds. It'll be over. So let's redeem the time right now to do great and mighty things for our God. Because the days are evil. Redeem the time. God bless you, my friend.